Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. This one is numb fishing, but don't go away with your fishermen because I am looking to get my ancient antique reels, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, properly, properly serviced, not by me. I'm down here in Wales, just outside Swansea, you can see Paul at Falindry Innovations. He's gonna take a look at my ancient antiques and see if he can do anything to improve their efficiency because some of those reels have got a big shark waiting to be caught on them. Yeah, I've been doing reel repair and servicing for 28 years now. Currently we're doing all sorts of models and makes, Daiwa, Abu, Pen, Shimano. Um, the main problems we get with reels are uh, customers mainly filling them with oil and uh, basically washes all the grease out of the reel. So you've got metal on metal then. Okay, um, this one hasn't been locked, looked after, it's been left on a boat. Um, you've got all salt water corrosion everywhere. Um, guaranteed inside, all the bearings have gone. Um, it's, uh, it's uneconomical basically, to buy a new reel when... Uh, so that's not uh, not been washed off and just left on somebody's just, boat? It's just been, just been left on somebody's boat and uh, you see all the corrosion there. So now obviously I've got a small boat, but mine's not moored. I know some people do leave gear locked in their cabins on boats. So even if they've washed that down in fresh water, that salt air being on the boat is still going to give them problems, That's surely? Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, most of the time we know what's wrong with the reel, even before we go inside it. This one, this one sounds a little bit eerie, but you can guarantee mostly it's, uh, it's bearings and it's changing. Bearings rather than the actual gearing of the cogs? Yeah. One problem I do have, let me come around the other side. This is one I've had apart myself. Yeah. All of these, I've had trouble relocating that yeah. and in, in to get yeah. the drag to strike. It's yeah. like there's a special sequence to put yeah, that in. That's right. When you when you take this off, you must you've got to put it on free spool before you take it off. Yeah. And then you uh, then you undo that. And the same and when you're reassembling it, you put this in free spool. And and, and do, you, do you push in? I mean, maybe there's a piece missing out of that one. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? That's why I have trouble with it. No, it's all fine. A little electric screwdriver. Well, that's a quick way of doing it. Yep. And when, you know, is it, is it best that guys occasionally, if they want to put a bit of grease, to put a grease on those threads? Um, the ones you're doing now, or grease, would, you, would you put a dab of grease in little, there? A little bit of grease here, yeah, it won't do no harm. Is that a fixed bit, as it were, in the end of that screwdriver, or do you have different bits you can put um, in, like I've a had, drill? I've had this bit in for about five years now, so it's a pretty good one. Now that's a bit I always or like what would you call that the actual that, that's the pinning gear that is. That's the pinning gear. As you can see there is a bit of rust on that bearing. And that bearings on any multiplier in particular, that is the most problematical thing. That's ninety-five percent of the time that's what goes on the reels. No, somebody's had a real chew on that end. <laughs> yeah, you haven't had the right <laughs> the, screwdriver there. No, no, you guess I've had, I've had somebody's had a chew with some long nose pliers or something, right? and it slipped in their hand, <laughs> slipped in their hand and skidded. But you know, obviously, it wasn't me. <laughs> so that is your problem, that bear. Yeah. The the bearings go loose. Yes. So when it's so it's wear. Is it a wear so thing, or is it is it a, a salt wear, corrosion yeah, a or a bit of both? It's a wear, salt corrosion, a bit of both. Because when when you tighten this down, see on the see when you when you tighten in this down, sure, the spool and everything's compressing in. So there's all pressure on all these bearings going through the reels. Yes. So yeah. any any little bit of 
uh, wear on there will you will be able to feel it, you know? Yeah, yeah. The TLD draw, right? It's only it's only two two draws. On only two draws, so I'm a rarity. Two. So, so yeah, so that's, that's how long they've been going. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, they haven't made any more TLD parts. It's just two draws. Like we've got the fixed spool reels where we got three or four cabinets full of, you know, small parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And you do everything like people want spare spools for reels yeah, or fixed spools and stuff. Any, anybody who wants spares, they give us a call and uh, we can take an order for spares. Yeah. yeah. So we just put a bit of multi-purpose grease on uh, the spare end before we put it back in. Get a bit of uh, oh, so again, it's definitely it's definitely oh, yeah. grease. Any particular grease, or you say just a multi-purpose one? Just a multi-purpose we tend to use. Not too thick. And no wear on that cog there at all that you no. can see, yeah? No, you, you, you can, you'll feel it before you take it apart if, it's, um, if there was wear on it. So the problem I had when I took this off before, there'd be, there'd be play in there, which is like corrosion on that square shaft. Yeah. I've but that's normal, is it? You've seen it before? I, I've seen corrosion on there, but uh, Graham, I think you've looked after this, this reel a bit better than most people, because I've seen these handles half the thickness of what... Really? Yeah. Corrosion on there is, yeah. Well, they were back in the day, so they've got to be 25 years old, 30 years old, 30 yeah. years, getting close to 30 years old, I would think. Yeah, I reckon, yeah. So, uh, and they're still catching me fish now, so I cannot grumble. No. So a lot of it you know by feel, generally, straight away? Generally, yeah. Uh, after 28 years, it just comes natural, I think. Oh, that's the tool for that. Same that's thing. the tool yeah, for that. Yeah, that's the tool. <laughs> Obviously, I had one in a box and I just never used it, yeah. yeah. There you go, there's the drag plate in the washer. Now these are the sort of things that they shouldn't get any grease on at all, is that correct? No grease at all on the, on this at all. That's right. So if I if I if I'm in my small boat and I've had a good pounding and the waves have been coming over and I know I've got salt there yeah. and I do strip them down, let's say it's only once a year. Yeah. But with these I have washed them in fresh water and yeah, then you, you, dried them with a hairdryer. Would that uh, be correct? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. That's, that's okay then, yeah. yeah. It's still a bit damp though, so I don't know whether yeah, I have. Um, you have put this one back together wrong, really. I have put it back together <laughs> wrong. I'll give you a new drag washer. Yeah. Yeah. Show them the difference between the the older than you guys. It's the colour you can see. Yeah, well, you should have had a bear in in Belagrium, but you've put two in in there. I think. What have I put? Doubled up, have I? You doubled up. It's lucky nothing seized up and I lost a fish, isn't it? Good lord. <laughs> yeah. That centre shaft doesn't get much wear at all, I imagine, does it really? No, it's really good. So there's one. Yeah, there's your two bearings. Oh, well, if that's, you know what I've done? I reckon I've taken yeah. two reels apart yeah. and then just filled, well, no, filled no, it up. No, it's the same reel. You've got you should have one in there, then the spring, yeah. and then the other bearing should be in there. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. So, so it's, I'm okay. I haven't, yeah. I haven't pinched off another reel. No, no, no. Yeah, but that's uh, if you if you roll that slightly, you can. And you feel that really in you your can fingers. Feel it, yeah. You don't use much grease then. You Not know, just a pinch, just a pinch, pinch just of a it. A tiny bit of grease. It just um, people think filling the <laughs> filling the reel up with grease is gonna. Make, make it, it better. Make it run better, but uh, just just slowing the reel down.
you watch now this season, I won't see any bloody sharks. I know perfect, <laughs> I know perfect rods and reels and won't get any runs. <laughs> I watched the shark video the other day. Yeah, I mean, that's all I use is those TLD 25s. I yeah. mean, they're, they're, they're good. We've had uh, Paul Beagle about just 500 odd pounds. Mm. The, the, the first fish out that uh, when Wayne, my mate, came out yeah. and we took him down North Cornwall. And you're not to know it's that big when you get it, but it was a yeah. monstrous fish. But TLDs, no problem. Yeah, yeah. We had hammerheads of 500 on them over in the Keys. A, a brilliant little reel. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's loads of different makes around. Uh, a lot of them are all good. I can only speak for the ones that I fish with personally, yeah, yeah. and I've got no fault with those at all. No, they're brilliant, Jim's family. We started to do um, Finn Noor as well. Oh, yes, you do, yeah, yeah. You know, we've, um, like someone come to see us the other day, uh, one of the reps, but um, I think they want us to start up doing the service the, on those, yeah? The servicing is done in Germany. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. so right, yeah, we'll be done there now. Strip the straight of ours, are they? <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Is that sort of dissolve any grease or anything in there, or, or just a general cleaning? No, it's just a general cleaning and uh, clean all the salt off in the air. You're not going to put that back in your bath with that toothbrush, are you? <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Just breaking them in with the reels and then we'll... Uh... Now, a lot of guys only get to go fishing every once in a while. And, and you know, that's the way it is if they're working. Yeah. But I have heard people say, oh, when I've washed them off, I put them in a Ziploc plastic bag. And I've always thought that can't be right. If you're not using it for months, what, what you just store them as they are or in a, just, in a cloth bag? What's the best way to store if, them? If you're not using them for months, you just, you've got to, you've got to make sure you clean them off because if you use them and then even if you've used them and you, you, um, you just leave it, the yeah. salt water is just going to eat into everything. You've got to clean it off. It's a bit missing again. Yeah, a bit missing again. <laughs> I draw, you glued that on, you have. What is it? <laughs> you glued up it on, haven't you? I can't, I can't <laughs> even see it. I can't even see it. If it's got araldite on it, I've got to put my hand up and say guilty. <laughs> and what was that bit? What, what do you call that? What is it? Uh... Um, you've just lost one of these E locks. That's okay. so why you decided to. Uh, Put a dab or something on it, I suppose. Put a right? glue on there and uh, keep it on. I would rather have them come off by now, no. Lovely. <laughs> oh, first time, Grip. The top turn okay. First time. So that's all the gear in and greasing down inside, so basically it's just now putting it back together on the outside. So here we are, see so you've got to put this in free spool there. And, not, and that spring, you push that spring in to locate that. You've got, you've got to locate that. So yes, got, so got in that slot. Heads, yeah. In the slot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of trouble doing that to get the drag to, to engage. So I'm obviously missing the trick somewhere. Yeah, it's just got to be in free spool. That's what when, it is, free spool. Then when yeah, you're taking yeah, it apart yeah. and when you're reassembling it, like. So it's not like me, where I'd be looking down here for <laughs> going, oh no, there's a spring missing or a clip or a circle clip yeah, or something. you left them out though, I think, as well. No, we're good. So he's all good to go, that one? It's all good to go. So in your, uh, so people get an idea, they can yeah. post a reel to you. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Phone you up, obviously, or email you. Yeah, we got uh, we got a website and um, all the information to, um, to return the reel. 
is on here. Um, if you go under real servicing, there's a form which you can print out. But if you haven't got a printer, you can just uh, just write a letter with um, basically contact details, uh, yeah. what's wrong with the reel, and um, that's about it, really. Yeah, yeah. So you could turn it around quite quickly, I understand. Yeah, we we try and get them get them back to the customer within within a week, really. Yeah, which is um, good, isn't it? Yeah, good, yeah, most 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 of the reels that come in, they done the same day or the following day. Um, yeah. Unless we got to order a part, which it could take uh, could take up to ten days to come in to get the part. If, if, if it's, it's a bold, yeah. Of if, it's a, if it's a Daiwa part, we've got to order part from Daiwa, uh, which are a little bit longer. So um, all the modern Daiwas you keep here, those spares, wise, do you? Um, no, not really. No, we mainly we we sh we got a lot of Shimano parts, so we got most Shimano parts, um, Abu Pen. Um, but Daiwa, we tend to order direct from Daiwa. And while you're doing the boat wheels for me, you, you tell people they got you do thick spools as well for cart yeah. fishing, pike fishing, yeah, beach fishing. That, yeah. You do the whole the whole range of reels. Yeah, that's more. Um, I think cart fishing is one of the most popular um, sports these days. Yeah, so you get a good uh, a good flow through of uh, yeah. reels coming in mainly, for servicing. Mainly for, from carp anglers, yeah. Um, most of them want to go fishing in, in a, say a week's time and they realise there's something wrong with the reel and that's why we try and turn it around as quick as we can. Now you were telling me earlier on, and I forgot to bring them, but I've got the old bait runners and they have got lo locked or sticky drags. Lots of what, sticky. what was that you were saying earlier on about, uh, that's yeah, a very common problem yeah, with the uh, stern drag reel? A common problem with um, most of the anglers is they tend to oil the reels and it goes into the drags and it's sort of this material which when you put oil on this it tends to stick rather than having a smooth run off with the spool it's yeah. just snatch 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 snatching, all the time they just snatch in so you've got to keep, either grease these and uh, or keep them dry yeah and those little stone drag washers they're the same material as this you were showing me yeah yeah basically oh. these are the same sort of material as this and that that's that's in most of the the rear drag bait runner reels these days. So, so that's think, just the drag for the bait runner. Obviously, on the front of the spool, is that a fibre washer? You know, front, it is front drag for the actual main fighting drag of a of a fishing reel, or is that is that those is metal this, plates that compress? Well, there's two types of drag. You got you got front drag and you got rear drag. These are the washers for the rear drag. In the front drag, they, they don't tend to wear so much. Um, you have got a different type of material in the front, which they, you can get reels 20 year old and they still smooth yeah. with the front. Now, with a rear drag reel, that's a tiny washer, a it tiny is. surface area. It is. It, it, what, what, in your sort of experience, rear drags, front drags, what gives you the greater sort of power, stopping power for a fish? Um, front drag. Bigger uh, surface area, I guess? Bigger surface area, yeah. But it's... I, I prefer uh, rear drag because you get more control at yes. the back. But, um, you haven't got to reach your hand around the front yeah, of you. Yes, right, I know what yeah, you mean, yeah. yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going over to Dari. He's yeah. working on another reel of mine, which is probably in worse condition than the one Paul's just done. So, what's the problem on this? This is for what? TLD? I forgot what it was. 15, I think it was. Um, yeah, um, a bearing's gone from up here, so. When you say it's gone, have I forgotten to put it in there totally, or is it just completely cream crackered? So I got a new one from up to the drawer to put in, put a bit of grease on it. So it's amazing the same problem on the two reels. That, that, you know, as you said, a bearing is the main one of the main faults with uh, with reels. It's the same, the same with any um, any sort of water reel. Then. A bit of grease on the skier. Is there any reel that you hate working on? Uh, is, it, is, it, is there a horror story one? <laughs> There's a few. There's a few of the newer ones mainly, which the tough to too many, open up and do. Too many springs to pop out that time, I think. Too, too complicated somehow. They're designed to be complicated. Mm. 
on the outside of the reels, is there anything worth wiping them with anything, or is it is it a no no oil? Yeah, no, definitely no oil, but um, you can. I prefer to use just a surface cleaner onto a damp cloth and wipe it all over. And if you want to uh, get a little toothbrush, just to uh, get all get in the, the corners, get, get, get the bits in the out. corners, and just you know get all the bits off. I think the only places you can put a little bit of oil is um, on the handle where it uh, pivots you. You can just put a little bit of oil there and keep that lubed up because that will stick and you get a bit of corrosion on there. But make sure, sure you wipe all, wipe all the oil off. So we got we got a bear in here and um, if if we soak this in oil overnight and then spun it, it'll go noisy. And that's what's happening with people's reels. They're soaking them in oil and they just, they just the bearings are going noisy and then they're stiffening up. Um, it's fine for bear, you know, oil to be used on bearings for cars, the sure. bigger bearings, but not... Not the, small not, ones? It's not for small reels. So really oil, keep away from oil, yeah, as it were? Yeah, keep, keep, keep away from oil. I keep it on the grease? Yeah, yeah, keep away from oil and stay on the grease. So these are my pride and joy, Paul. Yeah, yeah. I bet, <laughs> I've yeah. had them years, years you know, and years and years. Marlin, yeah. sharks, tuna. Yeah, They're well, the 50, get, 50 wide or 50 wide. But I'm unlikely to get spares for that now. Do you, do you think of that age? Well, I did have some spares, but um, we've soaked them on because we don't just don't get these reels back anymore. And, yeah. you know, you can test the drag on you. And it's, it's smooth as silk. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They, they, they bomb proof. That's the original Brilliant. ones, yeah. Brilliant. yeah uh, they're not yeah. a twin speed, they're just a no, standard, just a aren't singles, they? But so just a anglers speed. know you can if they have a twin speed reel, yeah. like a Shimano what Beastmaster, yeah. you can still service yeah, those with the twin speed as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. So these the, the pair of these I got, best to just leave them alone. Yeah, yeah just leave them, they work in fact. Yeah, they are, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll do a service on this one now. Yeah, they're the ones I mostly use as the TLD25s yeah. for UK fishing. Yeah. And I know these big ones here, you know, it's, it's rare and marlin, but I do occasionally use them for feet. Because they get an extra 200 yards of line on the 50 yeah. rides. Yeah. Um. <coughs> so this is the customer's uh, one, yeah? Well, he's printed a, a real repair form off. Oh, really? The, yes, uh, yeah. Off the computer. So you print it off your website? Yeah, print it off, fill it in, yeah. send it in with the reels. And, uh, and do, do they generally ask for just a service, or would they give you a specific look? This they, is going that juddering, this is squeaking. If there is anything wrong with them, they will put it down on yeah. the letter, yeah. So, this, these two pair of reels you got here, they would be uh, a standard service on these, or is a customer asked for anything explicit? Yeah, on this one, it's a service, but on the main shaft not functioning on the other one so the main shaft not functioning. so that's just this piece yeah so that's not oscillating is that, is, that what, is that what it means it's not going up and down to lay the line or i think it's on this one it is this reel i'm doing is just a service so so yeah yeah it's oscillation going stuff, on it? yeah so I don't think it's the... Would that be gearing inside or something? I think it's the, um, the worm shaft on this one. Yeah. I don't think it's the main, main shaft. I think it's the body. You've done these before, yeah? This type of reel? Um, yeah. Have you ever had anybody you must have had just sent you a bag or box of all bits and pieces? <laughs> just a few times we've had, uh, we've had a few reels in in ice cream boxes full yeah. of bits uh, where people can't put them back together. So, so it's not uncommon then? <laughs> not at all, no. People start taking them apart and thinking... They I have got a, the old beach Shimano Speedmaster. Oh, right. You yeah. know, I've got one of those. Yeah, yes, yeah. and it's in a plastic bag. Because yeah. <laughs> I've had a nightmare with it. And it's yeah. been there. It's a shame. I used to like using it because it used to have a very high speed retrieve That's on it. That's right, yeah. I yeah. want to say six to one or something. Six points something to one or five points something to one. Six, yeah. And uh, yeah. a yeah. big handle with it is too. It had a nice big handle. So we use it rock fishing. Oh, right. Have we still got it? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah just. I mean, I can post it down, yes, put it down if it's no good, just keep it for spares, <laughs> put it in your spares box, because yeah, the there might be bits of it. I can definitely sort that out.
They, do they still make the Speedmasters? They don't make the Speedmasters. Yeah. What would be the equivalent high speed beach wheel for beach guys nowadays? What would you say? Um, uh, the Abu, the Abus are, are quite popular. You know, the, the Shimano don't make a sort of. Um, they got the Trinidad's, but nothing sort of equivalent to the old TSM2. Yeah. Um, So the Abu is still a popular beach wheel then for people? Yeah, definitely, yeah. See, the difference between me doing this and you doing it, I could take the pieces, <laughs> we probably wouldn't get it back together again probably, <laughs> but no, I wouldn't know that bearing was gone, you see. Yeah, that's, oh, the, that's the difference that's by, the, you know. That's got, the trouble, people take them apart and they yeah. don't know. Yeah what they're looking for. Exactly that. I can see exactly. the point now. I can see, hang on, you think yeah. he wants a spring yeah. or yeah. look, there's all these bits and pieces you could say, oh, that's a bit worn, I need one of those. Yeah. And you actually might not. Exactly. It might just be the bearing. Exactly. Because it was a little bit noisy, I knew it was a bearing straight away. People, nine times out of ten, think it's, oh, the gears must be... I weak. did. I did. I thought it was something yeah. juddering with but the gears. It, yeah. It's not. It's the, it's, it's the bearings. I've got to take this one all apart now. I know. And put a new um, body. I don't know if you've got them done. That's, you? No. Take everything up. Is yeah. it the body you snapped on? Yeah. Yeah. So um, put that one to one side and just service the other one for now. Yeah. That's one you'd have to get a part for then, is it, Paul? I think I've got to get a part. I'll have to, uh, to have a look. Some... Which is the bit that's causing that oscillation problem? This this bit for you has snapped off from you. This should this should be on here, but it's oh I see off. I know what you mean yeah yeah that should go on that, that centre there be, uh, that should be attached to be uh, and then your main be... oscillation bar would go over the top of that wouldn't it no on this on this one it's got um, this gear then spring goes in there then you've got to put it on top but that goes on top so that yeah, I can this, see the hole this in it yeah should this thing should be slotted into you and it's snapped off clean yeah so this and um, this has got no place to rest on now so yeah i'll do this you gotta wait for a new one they'll need a new body what would have been the cause of that so what, what do you think is it just wear or Someone a bit of corrosion or yeah, prop, uh, dropping dropping's a common problem if you could do that to just put in the rear. I'll keep him well away. Let me move the tripod. Nice. Yeah, we uh, just slot that in and this. So it just grips, it's not actually a, it's just, a hole it goes into. There's, there's a hole here that you can, it just grips on and you just unscrew it. The number of times I've struggled with that. <laughs> Burning the edges of my fingers, <laughs> getting handkerchiefs and then getting them covered in grease and then the wife goes crazy because there's grease in the handkerchief and throw the handkerchief away when she washes it. I can't get the grease out. <laughs> oh, that one's gone as well. Can I grumble if I've had them 25 or 28 yeah, years? Yeah. Are oh, they pretty good for, to be honest, except for the bearings. Yeah, we've got thousands of uh, real parts here. Oh, look out, all the drawers are full of parts, all, all different models from uh, from over the years, and all all these all these cabinets are full full of parts. And I guess it's one of those things where you can't afford to throw anything away. You can't afford to throw anything away. Because there away. might so be one reel so coming in, so like mine. So as so you, so you, so you throw something away, you guarantee you're going to need it. I know the feeling well. Yeah. Yeah. We do do a variety of manufacturers' reels. Um, this is what's come in today. Um, we got an Avette reel here. 
Um, would that be a beach reel or would that be a lure reel? That's a, you know, you can either use it off a small boat or a beach reel, beach yeah. casting reel. We've got another Daiwa salt this year. That'd be for beach fishing, that's though, wouldn't it? That's for a, off a small boat again. Or oh, you'd be up tiding wind. and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, a level wind. Um, we've got a couple of uh, Daiwa Baziers. And they got the long spools with them. They yeah? got the long spools, yeah. They for distance it. casting. Lovely reels, yeah. Um, we've got an old Shimano, Shimano Calcutta. When you say old, compared with mine, it's old, but mine would work. <laughs> I think classified it's, as antique. It's a, it's a little bit newer than yours. Yeah. <laughs> but still a good classy still, reel, though. Still yeah? a good reel, yeah. Uh, we've got, we got a pen clash. Um, we've got a Shimano Sustain. So wide range of different reels you can wide do. Wide range, wide range. Uh, we've got an, we got an, we got an Abu. I haven't got my glasses on. Wow, I'm that's a tiny reel, reels. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lure fishing, what for a pike, I guess, something like that. Yeah, some of the guy, yeah. Same uh, prince, same principle. Bearings, bearings, bearings. Is bearings, bearings, mean, bearings, 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 bearings. And we got, oh, we actually got a bailing problem on this. Oh, and a bearing. Can you hear the? Bearing? Oh, we can hear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No one heard the sound. There, so, oh, no, yeah, I got some with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got a Shimano Black um, Altegra XTD. I came in yesterday. It's just waiting in to be picked up. And yeah, this one came in yesterday as well. It's a Shimano Technium. Quite a lot of spinning wheels. You know what I call yeah. spinning wheels? Fixed balls. Yeah. Yeah. Technium 4000, that's had a new bail on. Um, so we've got a couple of rivers around, around here and we'll be using them for salmon spinning and uh, yeah, yeah. getting them ready for the season. Well, there you go, guys. I've got my pride and joy back all checked out. And do you know what? The one I'm most pleased with is this one here. It's a 15. So I used it a lot and it's just, I, to be honest, I thought it was beyond repair, that one. I really did. But Paul's giving it a new lease of life. You should think about doing the same, get your real service, and I've learned something about those bearings, because until you physically feel the difference between a bearing that is worn and one that is brand new, you would never know the difference. So I've learned something there as well. There you go, I thought it'd be a huge job. No, it's not, it's basically bearings. Give them a call. If you've got a decent reel, phone them up, see if you've got a model they can repair first. If you just want a plain service to make them better, give them a shout. We'll see you next time on the Totally Awesome Fishing Show when we'll be putting these guys to good use.